Hey, what's up guys? Man, nice morning out. See these peepers? These babies are super tired. <clears throat> Not a lot of sleep last night, but work to do, so I'm gonna get out here and uh, get after it. First we'll, first we'll show you uh, some frame updates and then we'll talk a little smack and then uh yeah so i'm gonna flip you around here we're looking at old black betty blam a lamb and uh here we go okay so um we got these we got these frame holes welded up those got to be cleaned up and uh and uh smoothed but also we have we have the frame the frame is welded inside and out you can see the holes are all holes are all plugged and uh so this thing is this thing is about ready to come off the blocks and uh get down on some wheels and tires so what I'm going to do today is uh, get this rear end ready to go. We got we're waiting on some parts. They should be here pretty soon. Uh, we're going to get the pressure washer out and uh, clean up this concrete, clean up the frame inside and outside of the frame. We're going to throw a little paint on the on the weld seam. We're not going to worry about the bolt holes right now because we still got to clean those up. But I want the weld seam to be uh, clean and painted so it doesn't rust. And uh, then we're going to yeah, then we're going to get after this thing and uh, start getting it back together. Uh, a couple things we need to look at. Yep. So there's a this plate right here needs to be cleaned up, painted, and it goes under the rear end. We'll get that set in there. Hopefully our plastic uh, sleeves will get here and our nuts, and we'll get that rear diff centered up in there and. Uh, get those u-bolts in and snug down and I can build that rear diff out and uh, whoops let's see build that rear diff out yeah get that done and uh, I'd like to get the drive shaft measured up today but that probably won't happen till tomorrow but uh, anyhow it's been a long week uh, we have made progress, even though it doesn't seem like it. We have made some progress. We're also supposed to get our axle nuts uh, tomorrow, today and tomorrow. So we'll be able to get the uh, axles finished, bolted in. We'll get that front one cleaned up and build that, bolt that down. And then we'll, we got to get the rear end jacked up. So we'll jack the rear end up and... Uh, measure the drive shaft i wish i had some low pro 225s that i could just put on for rollers maybe i'll look for some of those uh today maybe pick some up over the weekend we are planning uh jessica wants a special wheel for these and so we are planning to do that but uh we do need to get it on rollers and get this thing up off the off of the saw horses you get the weight on the frame uh, the way it's supposed to be, but it really looks good. I think, I think you guys are going to be happy with the results as well. Here's the other side. I guess I should, uh, share that with you as well. So there's the welded up bolt holes, 26 of them, 13 on each side. And then here is the, here's the finished product on the outside of the rail and then here it is on the inside of the rail and uh, I think it looks good now <clears throat> there's been some debate amongst friends on uh, whether or not I screwed up by TIG welding instead of instead of uh, MIG welding or <clears throat> I like the look of a of a TIG weld over a wire weld and uh, you know we are sleeving or using an insert on this frame I don't think it's going to be a problem but uh, it could be 
And so what I decided we're gonna do is before we get crazy with the bodywork and all that crap, um, once this truck is drivable, I'm gonna stick a heavy load on it, off-road it, and see if I can break this frame. <clears throat> I might not do that because if the if the frame is going to break, it might not just break with the first time you put a load on it. Uh, but anyhow, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. And uh, until then, we're gonna continue trucking along, no pun intended. We're gonna try and get this rear diff done today. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So anyways, guys, let's get after it. Hey, what's up, guys? Man, what a nice day it is today. Look at it, just look at it. All right, so these are just some insulator plates that go between the steel axle housing and the aluminum lower control arm, lower, whatever. But we're just gonna clean them up, paint them. Now this paint dries pretty quick, um, and again we're not super concerned with the part that uh, wasn't in bad shape, uh, but we're, we are putting paint on both sides. So it's going to be a little noisy, but I'm just going to clean up the end of this thing. Uh, <clears throat> And then I'll paint, I'll throw a squirt of paint on it. it. Needed to be painted. And so our company would paint them or have them painted, but uh yeah, I'm gonna jack this up a little bit. Uh if I yeah. Mm, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I won't. I was gonna put that on, but I think. I think it might be easier to put the rear diff in uh, with this down. And so I'm not going to go any further with that. I was going to, but uh, I'm not. I'm also going to, uh, when I do that, I'm going to uh, uh, anti-seize those threads and stuff. I want to get the thing start run drive uh, before I do a full brake job. The only reason why I'm doing any of the brakes on the front is because they're all off. And so it gives me opportunity to clean up the S cams and clean up the hubs and uh, all the lug bolts, get those all cleaned up and then buy the brakes, slap brakes on it and drums on it. And then this front axle is finished, right? And then uh, the back axle, I could use those brakes for a while, but you know, once I get the truck cleaned up and painted I'll take those back drums off and uh, and get back out and get those brakes done but the front ones it's part already so not I don't want to build it up with junk and then take them back off and build it up again so I'm just gonna build it up one time and uh, bing bang boom Bob's your uncle I got to get a basket to put some of these parts in uh, oh I do need to clean and paint the frame let's do that right quick so we'll just uh, we're just basically protecting the weld from rust. Um, I know there's really not any oils on it because, you know, the thing was just, you know, a thousand degrees while they were getting welded, so... I'm not super concerned about it, but I 
I just don't want that area to, to rust. And it is supposed to rain. All right, so <clears throat> I'm not going to grease these bolts up, um, you know. So don't panic. These shocks are uh, these shocks are getting uh, these shocks are getting replaced. I don't have them today, and uh, and stuff. So um, I can't do it. I can't. I don't want to grease them up right now and then have to take them back off, you know what I mean? So I'm just getting this stuck back together to hold this setup up. And uh, that way I can get underneath, um, I can get underneath there, put the nuts on. I can get the sleeves in. This is a little more balanced, so I can pick this up and put that thing under there. I can get the uh, old cans off. And then when my pieces come, let me look and see. It looks like, it looks like that's pretty much there. I think it needs to come this way. Just a fuzz, but I think it's pretty much there. But we'll get that, uh, we'll get that moved over just a bit it's got to come this way just a skosh and uh let's go to the other side put that bolt in i'll swing you over here we're just going to slip that slip that protector in there there's a little protector that goes between the axle a little shim goes between the axle housing and the lower mount I'm gonna call it a control arm but who knows what that is uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jack that up a little bit just a piece with the other floor jack okay little girl in there all right and this needs to go that way it fuzz whoops there's a lot of fuzz pretty good yeah it looks pretty good I'll put these in like this and then I'll put that whole thing down as a unit I'm just gonna I'm just test fitting this right now yeah got to go in as a unit yeah that's how it'll go go like that put it down in there like that yeah it's nice it'll be super nice to get that back together clean up those bolts and get them through there and uh, a little anises and once that's done, man, we're bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle on that. All right, we're going to come in. I'm going to pick it up, and we're going to put it down in here. And uh, hopefully, we can let it down enough to make it happening. 
Now hopefully this isn't too much weight and it wants to roll this this axle forward which I think is what's going to happen and I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure I even want to put it in there so it is an awful lot of weight hanging off the front but we'll get at least get it in there uh, you know get it in there and get it up close and hopefully we'll get these u-bolts and sleeves today or these sleeves and, and nuts today that'd be pretty cool but anyways, let's see if we can get it centered in there. I think I can get it with the fork or with the jack. I probably should have set it on the jack. need to get that flange cleaned up before we get too much closer so maybe we'll do that right now do the forklift press a bit I think I might have forgot to turn you on when I brought you over here but anyhow so we've pushed the bushings in we'll show you that again in case that footage is gone where we put the we loaded the, the uh, torque arm mount on and uh, at this point we're just Gonna try and work those in. Uh, I think it'll be good. We'll get a little tapper expected life. Uh, Expected useful life. Uh, those have stopped moving. As I thought they probably would. Let me get a better smackulator. Oh boy. Pull those down with the nuts now. tool and uh, pull that down. There we 
go. Looks good. These are pulled down quite a bit. I don't really understand, but uh, yeah. We'll try and do the other one straighter. Okay. So I'm not sure what all you saw on the other side, but we're going to do the same. We're going to repeat it on this side. I think I forgot to press go. So. These are the sleeves. These are Packard's designed to try and minimize the gal galvanic corrosion. Didn't work, but it's just a sleeve and you put it in the hole down there. And, uh, yep, push it down in the hole. And then you lube up the spring or the U bolt and you hope that. It slides through this and just doesn't push it out the bottom, which it did push it a little bit out the bottom on the other side. But the good news is that I didn't push it down enough, and so it was still protecting the whole hole. Um, I don't have a service manual on this suspension. Uh, I'm just kind of learning from taking it apart, which is what I do anyways. Um, and so it's not a big deal I did get some extras just in case I have to take it back apart and these are only three bucks each uh, so you know the guys got to take it all the way back apart at some point in time they will order that stuff in advance so then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put NICs on these um, so that they don't seize up in there. Um, will that mean? Will it keep it from ever rusting, corroding? No. Um, but it might give us a, the ability to get it apart once if we need to. But anyhow. So here we go. I'm going to start them in the hole. Oh, yes. Okay, this side went right in there. Look at that. That's awesome. So, uh, Yep, we're going to get under there with the nuts. We'll uh, scoop it up. I don't know what I did wrong on the other side, but it was a little tighter. Maybe one of the holes still had a little bit of plastic in it from the last. Uh, maybe I didn't get it all out, but it doesn't matter at this point. There's plenty of uh, sleeve in the hole. covers the entire four inches through the aluminum housing and so yeah
give it one more look. Yeah, it looks good. Go over the other side, do the same thing. Okay, I'd say that's good first round. All right, I'm happy with that. Yep, I'm happy with that. Looks good, sitting on there flat. Now we can uh, do these. All right, so I'm not really sure how this is gonna work yet. I'm just kind of feeling it out. Um, I think if I get it to lift up and the gear set to start going in, I think I'll do uh, a bead of Permatex around most of it first though. It's not really for sure. I think I think I need to get a hold of the front over here and the back over there. Uh, these are always subject to failure here. I believe I left that much on there. I can't believe I did that. I have this thing almost ready to go in that bitch and then now I gotta kick around with this.
better. Perm protects her up. All right, so we got our little butterfly here. He's been watching today. He's got a little damage, but he's been hanging around. Anyways, we got it real close down there. Bring you a little closer so you can see maybe. See, we got it real close down there. We're going to try and go down and, and uh, just slightly lift it up in the front. Super close. I don't think I can do anything with the punch. Uh, we just want it to keep it from falling off, right? Let's, uh, let's try that. Let's lift some weight off of it. Let's see what happens. All right, so that's in there. Uh, I think I'm happy with it. I'll bring it back.